Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start to install some of the um, bigger applications. Um, this includes the um, window managers and desktop environments. But first thing I'm going to start with is um, the display managers, and these are basically log on screens um, present, present with an option to log in to a graphical environment and um, means that we don't have to type in star text each time we start the machine off. So let's go to display managers. There's a couple here. The first one's called Light DM. So let's go back into sources BNFS and fetch this package. There's an additional package here to fetch. Now what we can see is there's some dependencies here, so let's get those up and get those installed too. So the first one at the back of the list is a runtime dependency, but we may as well install it now. So let's save this link. And extract it. And what we've got here, so we've got a build directory to make. And okay, we can add in dot book equals true to the meson command. To enable some API documentation. Oh, not like that though. We need to put the two dots in. So just recreate that directory. We do the config command, but with the two dots at the end of the meson command. That's better. So now we can do ninja to build it. No test suite, so ninja install. And I've got some configurations to do. To our users in the ADM group to be listed as administrators, execute the following commands as a root user. So I'm not sure if kind of text is in the ADM group, no it isn't. I um, guess it might be a good idea to add Kernitex as an administrator, or at least one administrator on the group. So I'll do that with um, user mod. Um, I want to say minus G ADM context. Yep, that's worked. So what I'll have to do is come out and go back in as context to activate that. There it is. And back to sources BLFS uh, account service build and then add the daemon uh, so su so back to the blf boot scripts make install oops Make install accounts. Do 
even. And we can start that too. And that's done. So we can just tidy that up. And I'll tick that one off the list. So it's chapter 12. And now we go to lib x clavier. So let's just check the dependencies. It looks like we've got all of them, so let's download this one. extra option to enable documentation so let's add that in left test suite so sudo monity make install and that has failed Oh, it's broken to this package. Right, okay, so I need to run. Oh, let's just rebuild it from scratch. So I rerun the config without the enable GTK doc. Build it and oh, what's this file for now? Permissions denied for. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's been created as a root that file. It certainly has. I'm not sure what that is. I'll um, just change that to my own user. Maybe it's something I've done by accident as the root. Oops. Let's try building it again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so once again, I'm going to remove it and just build it so it builds cleanly. So bring back the configure again. And build it. It's better. So you want to see make install. And that's done. That was in 25. Libex Clavier. I've got one called XO, which needs two of the files from the XFCE um, window manager, funnily enough. So it's something we'll be installing later. So probably won't have to install these then which kind of helps a little bit let's do this one here first Gdiv. yeah we've got these so I'm gonna create a separate XFCE directory to store these in XFCE so I'll just download it here
can enable the documentation here, there's no restrictions. And build it. And install it. That's that one done. So let's mark that off. Uh, chapter 35. LibXFCA for util. So that's actually the first package that would get installed for the XFC desktop. Now we need to install XFConf, which is funny enough, the second package and something called startup notification We've got something here called html html pass which is a perl module so let's just check we've got that perl and it's called html pass 372 yeah we've, we've got that so we would have installed it so let's save this one uh, no sorry not yet Let's go to startup notifications. Um, hang on, what, I might have this one actually. Let's just check. No, we haven't got this one. So we're back to BLFS. Just no options here for configure. We'll just build it, uh, configure it, and build it. And now we can install it. So that startup notification is done. Now we can do xfconf, which is a size part of um, xfce. So let's got the util. We've just done that. So let's download this. Go back to the xfce directory. Move the xfconf file here and extract it. Again, we can put in the enable GTK doc for some documentation. And we can make and make install. That's that done. So now we've got XFCE for UI, and this is the third package for the XFCE desktop. Sorry, let's move it first. For UI, so extract that and once again we can add in the documentation command into the configure command. Build the package. And make install. And then 
and that's that package done. Now we can do XO, which strangely is the fourth package in Levit XFC. It looks like we're building part of the XFC desktop, but it's okay when we come to do it, we'll have fewer packages to um, build. So we've got all the dependencies for this. Is this a Perl? Yeah, that's a Perl module. Let's just check that we haven't got that already. I think we have. It looks familiar. Yep, we have. So I'm going to move the XO package here with the XFCA. configure it. Once again we've got command to build the documentation. We can build that now and then we've got a test we can do as well. finished so let's now install it it's complete and now we can install ITM so let's extract the so I'll go down back to the BLFS directory. Let's try the main package. Um, looks like we've got to create a user for this. So just become the root. Create a group, group and a user. Now we change, do a set to change something for the PAM configuration files for login D. And we install it with this big configure command. Let's see, there's no extra options, so I'll just copy this in. I'm just going to do the config on its own so I can examine any summary at the end of it. Right, okay, there's not a lot there, but we can now build it. And install it. That's done, so now we can build the greeter. So I'm just going to copy and paste this all in. seems to have been done. Make install to complete it. It's done. So there's a BLFS boot script to install. Um, let's do SU. Make install light DM and as it says that we can start it. I've had this before when I've um, installed LightDM. Um, and it will happen, I think, every time I boot, as I remember. 
does say it's a warning, but then it says there's an error updating a file, so I'm not sure it was important or not. My convention next should be executed on level 5, consequently, the same is true for like DM. However, LFS default on level is 3. So I need to come out, get to the next terminal, uh, to the console and type in it 5. We can change it. So what we'll do is we'll test it. So um, if I come out of the route here, quit this, quit this. If I do it in its five as the root, it should start up a greeter, and there it is. So we just pick the user here. There's only one. Okay, text. And the reason why it says fail to start session is because there is no session for it to connect to. So, um, what we've got here, there's nothing there. Large font. That's a large font we can't see the rest of the menu. Oh, right now it's come up. High contrast. Yep, that's worked. I'll put back the small font because it obviously doesn't work correctly. Today, I don't know if this is going to power it down or just quit it. Yes, it looked like it will shut down the machine. So I'm going to try this to shut it down and see what happens. And it is doing that, so that obviously works. Okay, I'm going to power the machine back up now. And then we'll go back into our environment. So we can get the greater screen to come up. Um, does say the greater offers a list of available sessions. I don't know why the T. Oh, right, okay. This should have a corresponding desktop file under user share X sessions. So it looks like the TWM, unless you know how to craft one. I, I, I certainly don't. Um, I imagine you could probably look it up, but I'm not going to be sticking with TWM. Um, X sessions, yeah, it's not even there, the directory. So, yeah, I'm not going to be sticking with TWM. So, as soon as um, we get a session that can create this desktop file, then um, we can test this uh, properly. So, that's light DM. Let's, what I'm going to do actually. Yeah, I'll go back to the index. Um, 